Hello, this is Marcus Giuliano. I'm the chef and owner of Aroma Time Bistro, a small little restaurant, green certified restaurant, located in the beautiful Hudson Valley, an hour and a half north of New York City. And uh, in the news right now is about this uh, small organic farm that does eggs that has salmonella contamination, the eggs are on recall. So I keep reading all these headlines people keep posting on Facebook. Small, organic's not even safe, you know? As, you know, so they write these articles, even Fox News, they're writing these articles as if, well, see here, organic's not even good. You know, so it's kind of like, it's really annoying when you, uh, when, I, when, when, I, when I see these kind of things. Because, you know, first of all, we're talking about eggs. Eggs all have salmonella to begin with, no matter where they're coming from, organic or, or conventional. The levels vary drastically from an organic, well-managed farm versus an organic farm that is still into factory farming. Because you can have eggs that come from a factory farm where the eggs are, where the chickens are sitting in cages, multiple uh, um, chickens to a to a cage, and they're stacked up, and you know. It, you can have certain, you know, organic is a wide variety. I'm not sure if those are the exact organic standards, but I'm just saying well, there's a wide variety of organic, just like organic milk, you know, there's sometimes a huge price difference. That's because of the quality of organic they're doing. There are some organic farms are meeting the basic, barely meeting the basic standards, and others are far exceeding the standards. So that's why there's a price difference, and that's why maybe some organic might not be good in organic eggs, and some organic eggs might be phenomenal, but the premise of the egg to begin with, an egg, you know, look where it comes from. It comes from a chicken. Look how it comes out. An egg has porous shells. Uh, so they absorb like a sponge a lot of things. Now, first of all, if anybody has ever read uh, Robert Young, the PH Miracle, he explains that an egg is the dirtiest food ever, no matter free range organic or anything. 38, 39 million microbes per egg. It's a dirty food to begin with. So no matter if it's organic or not, it's dirty. So that's the first thing with eggs. Second thing is, you know, the way we react to the foods that we ingest that are contaminated and the way, the way we react to it has a big deal with our immune system. If our immune system is running weak, then it's going to affect us. If we have a very good immune system, we'll be able to fight off a lot more things like salmonella or whatever, you know, contaminants we come across. So extremely important to eat right exercise, take good high quality supplements um, or foods that actually improve your immune system like goji berries and you know a lot of vitamin C. So there's things that you can actually do. So that's really the whole deal. So it really gets me mad when I read these articles and like, oh, organic's not even good enough. No, tell the whole picture. Explain the whole thing. And I didn't see one article explaining the whole picture of really the premise of an egg to begin with. Now I have a friend who, I'm very friendly with somebody who owns a beef um, slaughterhouse, okay, um, and he has an extremely clean process. I've actually taken reporters through his facility. He opens his facility up. You can walk in with a camera. Um, really, really top notch. Uh, about 10, 12 years ago, 12 years ago, I took a reporter in there to, to show a reporter from a big newspaper out west what this little small processing plant was doing. This reporter walked in in open toe shoes. It was a female. She walked in in open toe shoes and walked around on the kill floor and everything. And as no matter how clean his operation is, he goes, Marcus, salmonella, these bacteria are part of the process. You're eating dead flesh. You're eating animal byproducts. They're going to be contaminated. He goes, but the way we're doing it, because we're such a smaller operation and the quality of cattle we're bringing through, it's still there, but it's on a much lower reduced scale. So it, it's it's the newspaper could easily go in there and say, oh, salmonella at this plant, salmonella at that plant, or whatever. So it just really, you know, and you have to test. Um, they do constant testing on these, so they really know. So it's not really a matter of something has salmonella or if it doesn't have. It's whether it has the acceptable levels, acceptable levels of salmonella, so it can be processed as safe food. So. That's really the key. It's the acceptable levels, not the presence of an non-presence. Because it's animal flesh. It's animal byproducts. It's it's dead stuff. It has bacteria. It's full of bacteria. So that's the bottom line. Um, so don't get freaked out by this whole recontaminate, uh, you know, uh, um, egg and salmonella thing. I don't eat eggs to begin with, so I'm not worried about eggs. And I barely cook with eggs at my restaurant. We do here and there, but we barely use them. So I'm not really concerned myself. But if you do eat eggs. Um, 
you know, still buy the best organic you can buy, uh, preferably from a small farm where they're not deep beaking the chickens and they have a lot of room to run, uh, because I guarantee you that a lot of those organic, uh, so-called organic eggs in the store, a lot of them, you know, still may be deep beaked and stuff and, you know, still may be in small confinements. So they might be eating organic food and meet the basic minimums requirements, but there again, you know, you get what you pay for. I'm Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Thank you for watching.